The question is that the motion be agreed to. I call the Honourable Member for Griffith. Thanks very much, Mr Deputy Speaker. I note that last uh, intervention from the member for Brisbane, which uh, fails to address one core fact in the debate in the last uh, week in Brisbane on the provision of public, public transport services. Uh, she raises the question of fares. In fact, what's been floated by the uh, Liberal National Party government through the pages of the Courier Mail in the last week is the proposal to increase train fares during peak times in order to deal with the impending crisis in uh, Brisbane's passenger rail network. Uh, secondly, the way of dealing with such a crisis is to in fact proceed with a pro project which the member has herself locally backed, but her national leader has publicly repudiated. That is the Cross River Rail. And the Cross River Rail was proposed uh, initially with a feasibility study uh, when I was Prime Minister of the country with $20 million, subsequently put to Infrastructure Australia, subsequently with the support of the uh, state Liberal National Party government, <coughs> prior to that the state Labor government, and it was approved as a priority Infrastructure Australia project. The state government asked for $715 million uh, from the federal government. It wrote a letter through State Transport Minister Emerson. Each of those conditions was met by the Federal Transport Minister, Anthony Albanese. Then what happens on budget night is that they walk away from the project. And we've had, therefore, the member for Brisbane jumping up and down locally saying, well, she sort of supports this project, but her federal leader has now repudiated it. And State Transport Minister Emerson has gone around the place saying, well, we'd kind of like this thing. I know I've written to the minister about it. I know I've asked for $715 million. I know I've promised to actually match it. But whoops, the national leader, Mr Abbott, has said we can't do this because we can't be seen to be politically cooperating uh, with the federal Labor government. Well, this is as part of a broader picture, Mr Deputy Speaker. It goes to the provision of public transport services across all of Brisbane. Number one, we've been talking about the Cross River Rail, which until budget night had bipartisan support. Number two, we're talking about local bus services, which the Liberal National Party government took a meat axe to in their statement as a government some months ago until members such as those supporting this motion rose up as one in support of their local communities and as a result the state Liberal National Party government ran a million miles, passed a $20 million hospital pass to the Liberal National Party Brisbane City Council and said you find the savings but please don't find those savings till after the federal election. There is absolutely no guarantee whatsoever that these bus routes will be preserved in the future once a certain electoral event occurs. But, Mr Deputy Speaker, this is part and parcel of a broader uh, phenomenon that we see unfolding from the Liberal National Party in Brisbane in particular. We've had them rip the guts out of health services at our hospitals because of the cut by the state government of 4,000 plus health workers. Order. That is affected. Order, Member for Griffith. Jim Seed, the member, member for Brisbane, are you on, on, a, on a intervention? Uh, yes, Mr. Speaker. Look, I ask you to direct the member no, 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 to the motion. Are you uh, we're not debating health services here today. No. The member for, sorry, the member for Brisbane, the member for Griffith has to call. Our public and services. The member for, member and one fully Brisbane. understands how the member for Brisbane, and for that matter, the member for Ryan, will be intensely sensitive about the slashing of bus services across their side of Brisbane, given the enormous number of university students who rely upon those services, about whom ultimately, given the posture taken by the Liberal National Party government in Brisbane, they actually don't give a flying fig. Now, on the question of broader public services, uh, of course we have the Cross River Rail. On top of that, the attack on public health services. On top of that, the privatisation of school playing fields by the Liberal National Party government at my local schools at Balmoral High and also, and also Order. at... Mem member, mem mem the member for Brisbane, I'll handle this. The member for Griffiths, this is a motion moved by the uh, member for Morton. I'd bring him back to the motion before the chamber. And of course, and of course, Mr Deputy Speaker, as the Honourable Member for Brisbane, a little desperate to prevent the debate from proceeding on the slashing to public services, including bus services, by the Liberal National Party once they actually had their hands on the reins of government, also proposing school mergers or school closures and also ripping up Lord, and disconnecting Lord, the National Broadband Network. I'll bring you back network. to the bill before the chamber. And, the and therefore, on this question of bus services, could I say, Mr Deputy Griffiths, Speaker, that bus services, including those in my electorate, 
Uh, the member for Gresham resume his seat. The time has expired.